I'd like you to look at Ankh-Morpork here and tell me what you think is wrong with the map. If you said there's no giant tower in the middle of a city, you're quite right, but that's not what I'm focusing on in particular. If, however, you said the River Ankh is blue and flowing, yeah, those are not true of the River Ankh. I don't know why they decided to make the River Ankh flow here. Maybe it's just people imagining that it flows, because let's face it, it's too viscous for that. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Discworld, and when last we left off, Rincewind managed to get into the hideout and sit in on the meeting where the dragon was summoned, pretending to be Brother Pencilhead. I'm surprised that they didn't question the fact that they've never seen him before, but either way, we know who they are, and we've already started to collect all of the items that the dragon wants. We have the golden tooth of the Dunny Man, and to get another one, we're going to go to the inn. Now, I don't know if these items can only be grabbed after you've been to the meeting, but either way, there are two things that we require. Let's open the door, go in, and grab the bed sheet. You have to be very particular with where you're aiming your cursor, but there it is. What's this stain then? It is ours! We're going to be using this in the past. But the item in here, we're going to be using in the present. Again, you need to be very particular with where you are aiming your cursor. And this is an item that isn't strictly obvious, like other ones that you can pick up. It's this right here. Extra bubbly with that great lemon-lime taste tang you've come to love. Taste tang? We're not going to be drinking that, that's for sure. Extra squidgy bubbly bath. With extra squidginess? There seems to be someone's face drawn all over this sheet. Or maybe it's just soiled. Hmm. Let's not focus on that and instead go to somewhere very important now. And that is the palace. The palace is not only where we can find another one of the items, as we know that the ringleader of the uh, group of some of the dragon is the jester. It's also a place we can get access to another location. I hope the people in that organization know that the Jester's planning on ruling exclusively. I get the feeling they don't. But either way, they're gonna stop that. Ah, I think they've settled their differences. Also, his hat doesn't fit anymore. Can we go in? Not surprised. Clear off you, every time you come around you start trouble. Who, oh, me? I don't do that. Hello? Greetings. I am the mighty wizard Rincewind. A wizard? A real wizard? Uh, yeah. And don't you forget it. Not impressed. You can't go in. Darn it. Let's try a joke. Look, haven't you two got anything you'd rather be doing? Well, yes. Yeah, I suppose I could go home and, and arrange some flowers and that. I could go see that psychiatrist bloke. What do you want to go and see him for? No. I told the captain I thought my wife was beautiful, and he gave me a chit to go and see the psychiatricist. No luck there in getting them to go? Could I just ask, go away? And we can't use the same trick that we tried before. So which one of you has the ugly wife? No, we're not falling for that again, you know. Yeah, our friendship is based on deep mutual respect. Really? Well, up to a point. Are you going to let me in? No. Darn it. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. How do we get in? We're going to use those things that we got from a psychiatricist. The ink blots. After all, what you see is as much based on you as it is on what's there. That doesn't work. Not on you? Just one thing. Hmm? Oh, nothing. No. What? What were you going to say? Well, this is picture. What do you boys think of it? Oh. Very original, that. It's a dog's bum with a hat on. No, mate. Look, it's your wife. My wife is not ugly. Ha-ha! <laughs> We're in! Excellent. Also, this queue has changed somewhat. For starters, you're still at the back, and those eggs have hatched. Still here? That's the trouble with a feudal system, you see. Queuing means very little in the face of a stratified social structure. 
It's all a matter of social seniority. Seniority? Yeah. Next time, read the fine print of the social contract. That's what I say. I see your point. Where's the thief? I think he went to the shades. It's a thief thing. Ah, now we have a reason to go to the shades, because that thief is the thief from the meeting. Oh, hello, tax collector. You're finally out of the stocks, I see. Hello, and you are? Well, I was the tax collector. Then some git had me locked up in the stocks. And now I've lost my job. Oh. They dared to put me in the stocks. Peasants. I'll get them. All of them. Laugh at me, will they? I'll pull their allowable deductions out with my bare hands. Um. Hey, don't I know you? Gosh, is that the time? I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Have you ever been to the Duchess of Froomesburg's Ball? No. Well, we can't have met there, then. Oh, right you are. Quick save there, Renswend. It's a tax collector, all right. And finally, Nanny Og. Hey there, big boy. What's this line in aid of? Vending permits. You need one to sell wares in the city square. Really? Yep. So how'd a nice boy like you get into a mess like this? Hmm. I think I might just go stand over there for a while. Oh, the hat suits you, dearie. Dearie? Oh, dear. So, where have you been all of my life, love? Not born for most of it. Oh, gods. You actually complimented Rincewind's hat. Now, that's a rarity. Hello, person that's planning on overthrowing the patrician but won't admit it loudly so that the patrician won't throw you in the dungeon. Hello? Mr. Oh, it's a visitor, isn't it, Chucky? <laughs> oh, Chucky, look here, Mr. Pe <laughs> oh, Chucky. I don't think any of his dialogue has changed, though. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. But you know what we could do? And this may seem a bit... off the wall, but go with me on this one. We're going to play a joke of our own. Mm. Oh, Chucky's dirty. Chucky won't bath! One bath! Practical criticism always speaks more loudly than words. You know, I'm surprised that we were allowed to do that. Either way, we can now go in here. Chucky power! Mr. power at last! Chucky power! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Mr. I was born for world domination, Chucky! Mr. Now they'll have to laugh! Mr. Comedy will be compulsory! Spontaneous hilarity! Will be timetabled three times today! Everyone will laugh until they drop! A golden age, Chucky! A golden age! Oh! Chucky, Chucky! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Two things! First, I get the feeling your society that you create would quickly fall apart, and second, how do you manage to get Chucky to move and talk? I'm wondering if there's some magic involved here. Either way, we need that cap. It is true what they say about men with big hats. Let's talk to you. That doesn't work. Good. Hello, Chucky. Chucky saw a wizard. Chucky, 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 Chucky. Quiet. Shh. Where's that alarm? Where's that alarm? Shut up. Look, will you just shut up? Chucky, see? Chucky, scream. Okay, we can't get past Chucky like this. I thought I saw a wizard hat. Quiet. I did. I did see a wizard hat. Now there's a reference. Any more? Quiet! Nope, just that. So how are we going to get past this situation? It's actually quite easy. If you have the bubble bath, you just make it impossible for, uh, Chucky to see. Sneaky. Ow! Ah! 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 Super frothy and very red. That doesn't work. Let's get what we need here. I can still say my hat's bigger. Here, why does he rate a golden bell? That's what we want. We have the fool's golden artifact. That's two. Also, anything new here that we can get? The answer is no. Let's get out of here before that uh, wears off. Then again, it is extra frothy. You might be uh, 
in there for a while with those bubbles. And then the bubbles consume the kingdom. It could happen. If we go over here, there's nothing there. Okay, nothing there. I don't think the patrician has any new dialogue, so let us leave. Thank the gods. At least there's a way out. Indeed. Have fun, you two, as I slowly destroy your friendship. So we can now go to the Shades. This is important. The Shades are a very important location. And a very sinister one. You don't want to go here if you don't have a purpose. Like Rincewind said at the beginning. Actually, fun fact, in uh, Discord 2, the Shades are an important location right from the very beginning. Remember, this is where the uh, person got incinerated in the introduction. Also, the music is very... Oh, hello! You're important! Also, that's not at all worrying whatsoever. It's actually very worrying. I do so enjoy these colourful little suburbs, don't you? No! That doesn't work. No, I don't! Also, there's a mural here. Hmm. A mural? <laughs> What's that scorch sort of smell? I'm not sure it's a mural. This really doesn't seem the best place to conduct masonry repairs. I wonder if the mason is trying to cover up the dragon's activities. Actually, I don't think so. Also, that looks kind of golden. Hello. Nice trowel. What trowel? I don't own any trowels. Yes, you do. You were using one just then. Liar. I saw you. Look. If I had a trowel, which is not to in any way imply that I actually do, it would be a tool of trade now, wouldn't it? I couldn't just let anybody mess around with it. What if that someone weren't just anybody, but someone pretty special in an unusual or useful kind of way? What? Like a colleague? Oh, actually I was thinking of a wizard. Really? Well, it would still have to be a pretty special kind of wizard. So, there's your hint that you need to prove that you are part of the same organisation. My, he's very suspicious of us. Is there much call for it round here, then? Eh? Walls. There's a fair few of them about. You'd be surprised. Need a belt? I, I could go get you one. Is it a worthwhile job? Well, yes. If there was more pay and less breeze. Breeze? Right up the old dairy air, friend. My drawers have worn through. Well, that's got nothing to do with being a poorly paid mason, has it? If the pay was better, I could afford new underwear. It's got a good point. Give us the trowel, then! No! Well, we tried. Don't get horribly burned to death by any monsters or anything. Please don't, we need your golden trowel. Also, a window. I do so enjoy these colourful little suburbs, don't you? No. Again, we've been through this. This place is horribly sinister. Horribly sinister. I mean, look up there. There's something going on up... Yeah, that, that's bad. I do so enjoy these colourful little suburbs, don't you? There's also this place here. Great Offler's milk teeth. It's a den of iniquity. We're going to be going there earlier. What's that? You thought I'd say later? Nope. Earlier. Also, sinister mouse is sinister and sleeping. Aha! A characteristic hovel. How colourful. Indeed. We need to get into that hovel. And the best way to get into that hovel, of course, is a ladder. Ooh. Loud, though. I'm sure it'll be fine. That doesn't work. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's go. Actually, can we just do that? Can we just go to the hovel by left-clicking? Yes, we can! Excellent! Ah. Think we woke them up. So we can't do that with the ladder as it is. We need to make the ladder stealthy. Also, nice animation there of the uh, rat going over the roof. There's nothing more we can do in the shades right now, but it's good to know of that building and the fact that that hovel, we need to be quiet when we go in. What if that's where the thief is? Spoiler alert, it's where the thief is. Even if we could get in there, though, we don't have the item we need to do what we want. So instead, let us leave. How do we actually leave? Do we click over? Yeah, we click over there in the 
area with the wall, which lowers the camera, allowing us to get to here. So we've done that, we've done that. The barn has nothing, the park has nothing. Can't do anything in the streets right now. We could start doing things in the alley, but we don't have all... Ooh, actually, there is something we need, and that is at the city gates. These crates. What's this thing? Danger? Explosives? Can we have them? Yes, we can! We got a keg, and we got some fireworks. Both are very important. Let's put them next to each other. Actually, we, we can't. Let's... Oh! We can get individual, um... Firecrackers. Should make a wicked bang. It will. It's a highly dangerous, yet strangely attractive gunpowder keg. Great, we have something highly explosive in the luggage's stomach? That's not good. Fireworks? These are just must get at. Right, we have dangerous explodey things. Not fun. Also, new dialogue? Evening all. No, Nobby. What for? Um, Pat. Oh, Cat. Who are you? We're the small old three of us. There's me and the uh, boys. Mom. We're on patrol. Strange. Almost. We don't know. What? Oh, good. Well, we talk. Then we might. Then there's. I see. So. No new dialogue. Well, I'll just move on. No new dialogue there. We get new dialogue with them later, but not right now. Actually, we may have what we need to, uh, do stuff in the alley. But for now, I think it's time to head to the past and, uh, try something that we were blatantly hinted at that we should do, and that is get the gate pass. We know who has it, the scared person, and we now know how to get it, and that is to terrify that person and then go through the very specific instructions that they gave us when they were describing the incident but they definitely didn't see. Now. Doors open. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the sheet. Like that. We totally look like a ghost. Hello! Oh, let's not be silly. Now he's terrified. Good! This gives us the chance now to do what we need to do. Quaking little wretch, isn't he? He's very scared. Let's go. The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for, then? Undercover correspondence? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like the combination to a safe. Safe? Not for long, matey. Good, good. I'm sure I'll figure out what this is for. Oh, wait! We didn't get all the instructions, did we? No. No, we didn't. We got a hammer, but we have no knowledge of what to do with the hammer. If we had a hammer... Ooh, we can also go to the city gate at night. And they're all asleep. Obviously the commander of the guards. Hello. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Are you asleep? Ah, you'll be the mandatory pink idiot youth with sword then. I have absolutely... Yep, and finally... Oh dear. You know that's possibly the closest I've ever seen anything come to being a human without actually being one. Fair enough. We can't do anything here at night. You know, busy work being the uh, city guard at night. We want to go over here, because I think the graffiti in the alleyway is actually different at night than in the morning. Uh, that's why that area is illuminated, to tell you that something important might be down there. Let's double check that. Let's look. That doesn't work. Or do we right click it? What's this then? Prove that you're a man, see Sally at the house of negotiable affection and ask for a special. You know, the tone of this place is really going downhill and it started at the bottom in the first place. There we go. We have the information that we need. And I think we need to go there during the past in the night. We could go there now, but we don't have the things we need to actually do what we need to do there. So we might as well wait. But we now do know what we need to do to get the gate pass, and that is to ask the scared guy for more information. Something was clearly omitted. We must find out what that thing is. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to get that gate pass and explore beyond the, the city of Ankh-Morpork. And that's always a good thing to do.
because it means you're further away from Ankh-Morpork, and let's face it, that's always a good place to be. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.